Guys, I can't believe it. Somebody found an exploit to boss fight. Look at this. Are you seeing this? Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carl Simon. It's time to brawl now. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you an exploit and showing you exactly how to set this thing up for, for boss fight. It's actually a lot harder than it looks, but after you watch this video through the end, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Now before anything, I wanted to give huge props to Fizzy, Search and Destroy, and Jake Merckx for figuring this out, and then also another big huge thanks to them for sending it my way so that I could show it to you guys. I can't imagine how many tickets they spent to try and figure it out. Now originally I was going to push all the way up through Insane 16 and release a video on it, but it was like 3 a.m. and my teammates had to get going. <laughs> Who needs sleep anyway? Okay, seriously, for all of you guys that are commenting saying that I look exhausted in my videos, I actually really appreciate it. Baby Kairos doesn't seem to like sleep, which means that I don't get to do it either. Now, before I explain this, I wanted to give one huge warning as to why you might not want to do this. Don't worry, you're not going to get banned or anything like that. But let's say you actually use this exploit and push all the way up past Insane 16, which is the furthest that this goes. After that, you will never be able to earn tokens in boss fight ever again. Unless they happen to reset you back down to normal each time the event actually starts up live. But after you beat a round, if you play with teammates that still have not passed that round, then it doesn't cost tickets, but you also will not get any tokens. So it's kind of essentially like a, a waste of time. The only time you actually earn tokens is from when you are playing on the round that you still have yet to beat. Additionally, you'll never actually know how good you are at boss fight. With that warning, here's how you do it, guys. Now, you're going to need three brawlers to make this happen. You're going to need Bull, you're going to need Barley, and you're going to need Leon or a max level Colt with his star power may also work. All three of these brawlers have super important roles, and if any one of them messes up, this whole thing will fall apart. Now, let's talk about initial setup, okay? So, Bull needs to quickly charge up his super as fast as he can. He then walks to the lower left part of the map and supers perfectly so that he gets rid of the lowest set of walls in that corner. One tip is to go up against those walls as low as you possibly can and then also possibly aim a little bit down so that you actually do not get two rows of walls like I did a couple of times. Then Bull needs to walk all the way back to the boss, charge up his super again, then walk back down to the corner a second time. Here, his goal is to try to get rid of this one single tile so that his, this little hidey hole has uh, is a kind of a sort of an L shape. After that, Barley will carefully make his way down into the hidey hole and release his super on the boss, thus almost recharging his super again immediately, and then supering over and over and over and over again until the boss's health finally melts away. Sounds pretty easy, right? It's actually a lot harder than you think, but I'll give you some tips that will actually help save you a lot of time. But let me give you a quick disclaimer before I actually show those tips with you. Because I wanted to get this video out as quickly as I possibly could to you guys before pushing to really, really high rounds with this strategy, I don't actually know if there's something crazy that happens after a certain period of time. Like, the longest I've been in a match for a boss fight is about just over seven minutes. There's a chance there's some type of like a fail-safe mechanism put in. Like, maybe at 10 minutes the match just ends or... Or maybe even there's a certain period of time where like asteroids start raining down and everybody dies or I don't know. Even if that is the case, if you do this right, you should be able to get through Insane 7 or maybe even Sen 8 with this strategy. And if Supercell didn't actually plan for this exploit, then there's a chance that you may even be able to just clear Insane 16 as long as you have the time and some solid teammates. Now let's talk about these very important tips to make this happen. Now Leon plays a very important role in this whole strategy, okay? The boss's rockets always target the furthest target from the boss. Leon's job is to go to the opposite side of the map from that corner um, as soon as the match starts so that that first rocket will go and fire off against Leon instead of off against uh, that bull and possibly break the wall in the corner, meaning that it would be impossible for you to actually do the strategy. Then Leon's job is basically to just avoid rockets the entire time. And it's very important that Leon does not die because if he does, then that rocket will just very likely just blast a hole into that hidey hole and Barley will just uh, die and then it'll all end right there. Now, luckily, Leon does have a very fast movement speed, which makes it easier for him to dodge rockets than other brawlers. The reason why he and a max Colt can work is because they also have enough damage to get rid of those enemy bots that will spawn on that half, half of the map. The easiest way for you to actually do this is to go right up next to the wall and just hug it as you just and just move one direction just all go all the way left 
Then after a barrage of rockets or after you hit the edge of the map or whatever, then you just move right. One other important tip is that it does take time for Bull to charge up his super and walk all the way down to the corner and then all the way back and charge up his super and walk all, you get the idea. Um, and you want Barley to be able to get into that hidey hole as quickly as you possibly can, right? So one tip is for Barley to like kind of bring the boss a little bit closer to that side of the map so that there, so that Bull does not have to spend so much time just walking. But you want to be very careful so that you do not position yourself in a situation where the boss will actually charge into the corner and destroy those walls. This brings up another important point on how to successfully make it into the hidey hole when you are playing as Barley without the boss charging in and wrecking the hiding hole. First thing you want to do is try to kind of like get close to the hidey hole, but make sure that you are not like directly in the line so that if he charges, he'll go into the hiding hole. Then you wait for him to do a charge, and then after he has done a charge, then you go into the hiding hole. And if you do it correctly, before that boss actually releases a super, he'll get right up next to that wall, and as long as Barley is within that one tile radius of the boss, he'll sit there trying to do an attack and waiting to do that attack rather than actually using a regular super attack, which would normally break the walls. Now, Bull has a very important role after opening up this hole to protect Barley from those bots. Uh, that spawn because those bots will go in there they can get and gain access into there and deal damage to barley and that makes it really difficult for barley so there are two ways that you can do this you can either just stay in that hidey hole as once it's been made and then barley can come down this is actually the riskiest way to do it though because if leon just happens to die then um <laughs> then the rocket will immediately come down on that one hidey hole and then it's it's good game you're done right there but you can also move out of the hidey hole before barley gets anywhere close if you move while you're while he's in the corner with you then he'll just charge in and take you out I, I did it it doesn't work and then you kind of like go a little bit close to the boss and kind of like a diet you know you you're between the boss and the opposite side of that corner essentially so that half of the bots that spawn on the map will actually go to the enemy leon and leon can take care of half the bots and then the other half will come down to bull and then bull can take care of those half of the bots my recommendation is for bull to keep like the boss like kind of in that lower you know lower left side of the vision so you can kind of see him, but I would not go very much closer than that. I actually played around with the ranges a little bit. If you do get um, even kind of somewhat close to the boss, or even like there was one situation where we were probably 10 tiles away and he fired off a super at us and ruined the whole thing for us. So you definitely want to keep your distance. Now, a few stray bots may actually spawn close enough to Barley that Barley will have to take care of him. That's fine if one bot happens to spawn. Barley can just use his regular attack, or even if he needs to, use his super to get rid of that. Um, and really though, if he needs to use his super to do it that's completely fine it's just one super he can recharge that up again on the boss but if barley dies to one of those bots then uh it's it's almost impossible for you to get back in position um, without that hidey hole being destroyed one other tip is that barley should pick up all the power-ups that drop from the boss because his damage is what's taking up the boss so he wants to be as beefed up as possible so he can take it out as quickly as he possibly can so the boss actually drops those power points when a certain amount of damage has been dealt to him and so there is there may be somewhat of a strategy between using leon a little bit to try and deal damage to the boss early on before he starts firing off those rockets but you do want leon further away from the boss than Bull is by the time he fires off that first rocket. Otherwise, there's a chance that that rocket may actually destroy the hidey hole. So it's kind of a toss up right there on trying to get more power ups for Barley um, versus playing it safe. So uh, that's one thing for you guys to pay attention to as well. And there you have it, guys. As long as you have the time and some teammates that know how to do this, then uh, you're all set. And if they don't know how to do this strategy, then you can always just send them to this video, guys. We tried to explain it to a guy via text. Um, yeah, that did not go very well. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below how high you get using this strategy. I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.